Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. So today I'm going to show you how to make a turntable or a way to actually rotate your camera around a specific object, which could help you with a cutscene. It could help you with a render if you wanted to showcase a 3D model that you've done. And do be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 185 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And do check out all the links in the description for all the best sales savings and everything you can find in game dev. You need to make sure that you go to package manager and you need to make sure that you're on unity registry in the drop down and type in cinemachine and then download and install cinemachine i've got my goku model here and a main camera now to do it we need a few things we need to use cinemachine to make it happen so we can go to the top go to cinemachine and i'm going to create something called a virtual camera so then if i reposition where i want the camera to sit by default select the virtual camera Go game object and align with a view. So then it's now aligned with a view. I'm going to create myself an empty game object, which is going to act as something which we're going to put in the center of our object. So with this empty game object, we're just going to call this the center object. And you can see that you may need to actually position this in the area that you want, but it's nicely in the center of my character right there. But you can position that wherever you want that to be because we're going to rotate around that center point. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that object, parent that to the center object, and just call this, it's something that we're going to rotate around. So we'll call this the rotating object. So then what I'm going to do is make sure it's in the same position as my actual camera, roughly where the virtual camera is. Now, if we go back to our virtual camera, what it's going to do, it's going to follow our rotating object, and we're going to actually look at the object that we want to see. So we can look at the Goku model here. And then just to point out before we start creating our animation, just make sure our virtual camera is got the follow offsets all to zero, and make sure our center object and our rotating object all have their rotations set to zero too, just so that we have it in the original position that we wanted. Then what we want to do is we want to select the center object and make sure that we create a new animation. So window, animation, and then animation. Then we can choose the create animation box. As long as we've still got the center cube selected, we're going to create a new animation. We're going to click record. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the control key. I'm going to move one unit to the right and then move back. So I'm in the original position that I had at zero, just so that I create myself a keyframe. Then I'm going to go to the rotation. I'm going to open that out and I'm just going to scrub this timeline. So we're going to make it probably about five seconds and you can hold the alt key and scroll out with your mouse wheel, zoom out on the timeline. I'm going to make this around five seconds there and then have the Y rotation of minus 360. Then in my preview at the bottom, you can see that we do one cycle around the character and end in the original place that we were. Now, when I play this, you can see that it cycles around a character as we expect, but it actually stops and slows down. We don't want this. Then make sure to select all of the keyframes that you had by driving over the timeline and making sure that your frame time is on free smooth, then we won't get that strange slowdown. So now when we press play and we start off, we're going to get the rotation around the character exactly like we wanted. And you will get this for as long as you want this to record. And you can record this in whichever recording program you want to use. And I do have a tutorial on showing you how to record it too. Check out my Patreon to get access to over 185 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Along with this actual demo scene I've got here which shows you all the particle effects. Do check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings and everything you can find in game dev. Check out all my great assets on the Unity Asset Store with massive savings too. Big thank you to all my patrons and a big thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to support the channel and watch what I do. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.